The nation's best MMA returns on June 15th with Roxagon 27. Way of the Warrior at the UAW Event Center, local number 1005 in Cleveland, Ohio. Roxagon's National Pro Am Series returns to pick Cleveland's best MMA talent against the best fighters from around the globe. The main event featuring Taiwan, the Rising Dragon Howard, taking on Chicago's Quentin McCrottle. Tickets starting at 35 bucks are on sale now at RoxagonWorldwide.com or any discount drug mart. Music by American Wi-Fi. RoxagonWorldwide.com. Welcome back inside the Roxagon Mixed Martial Arts action. It's time for title bouts to be decided, Will, and we're going to the light heavyweight advanced division. Let's set it up to the man in the cage, Jake Digman, for the introduction of our fighters. Linton, following contest is in the black amateur light heavyweight division and it is for the Roctagon Indiana light heavyweight amateur championship brought to you by the Indiana National Guard. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle into the blue corner, please welcome Trey Ross. Trey Ross coming in with a 3-0 record fighting out of Outlaw fight team in Indianapolis, Indiana. Very impressive so far, has yet to taste defeat. And uh, two rear naked choke victories in one decision. Mr. Ross is a guy who likes to take the fight to the ground. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been one hell of a year for him. He hasn't even been fighting for a full year and he's already fighting for a title here at Roxagon MMA. And uh, as you can see on your screen, I mean, He's gigantic. I mean, he's, he's just one of those guys, you know, there's not, there's no fight. If you're a fighter, you're not afraid of anybody. And there's nobody that you'd like to see more than others. But certainly, when you look across the cage, you see a guy, the build, a build of, uh, of Trey Ross. It's, you know, it's a, it, it could be an intimidation factor. I think he's won some of his early fights via intimidation. That's not going to be the case here tonight. Robert Duke is certainly a game opponent. He's fought just as tough guys as Trey Ross. This should be one hell of a fight here. Right? Trey Ross, only 21 years old. Well, seven and one combined record of these two fighters, and that's why the amateur light heavyweight title in the state of Indiana for Roxagon is gonna be decided here tonight. And the best part about this in Roxagon is that these winners will be transported around the country to fight other states' winners, and, and that's really the beauty of it. Almost a tournament aspect. Let's send it back up to Jake. And his opponent making his way down the aisle into the red corner. Please welcome Robert Duke. Robert Duke, Gara, BJJ, Kokomo, Indiana as he makes his way through the cage. He's the second one, he's not the little guy. This is light heavyweight action, and we take a look at the defense soap, tail of the tape. Will Burge, my partner, take it away. Trey Ross, 21 years old, the youngster of the group is Robert Duke, 28. Both fighters six feet tall, 202 pounds. This is Trey Ross weighed in at Robert Duke, 203 pounds. And now look at this reach advantage though. 77 inches for Ross, 72 for Duke. We talked about the size and strength of Ross, obviously Duke. Very similar in stature, as you'll see just a moment on your TV screen. But a five inch reach advantage uh, with men this size, that can be a huge thing. Now Duke has faced fighters with reach advantages over him before, and obviously very, very well. He's got a four and one record, so he knows how to overcome it. The interesting thing will be to see is, can Trey Ross be the ones who take advantage of it here in this fight? It's almost a classic uh, ground versus stand up competition. Robert Duke, all four of his wins, have come via strikes or verbal submission. Verbal submission comes when you strike and beat him yeah. into submission. And as we mentioned, Trey Ross, two wins by submission and one decision. And Ross is gonna try to knock you the hell out. Like, look, I know he's won by submission, but it, it, you beat the guy down first and then he goes to the mat and then you submit him. That's kind of the way Trey Ross rolls. We got title action, title belt to be decided. We send it to Jake Digman to introduce the fighters. The following contest is for the Roxagon MMA Amateur Light Heavyweight Indiana Championship and it is brought to you by the Indiana National Guard. Introducing first in the blue corner, he fights out of Indianapolis, Indiana. He weighed in at 202 pounds, representing Outlaw DFF with an MMA record. Three wins, zero losses. Please welcome Trey Ross. 
His opponent in the red corner, he fights out of Kokomo, Indiana. He weighed in at 203 pounds, representing Gara BJJ with that MMA record. Four wins, one loss. Please welcome Robert Duke. This is about is scheduled for three three-minute rounds, and when the action begins, your referee is Mr. Jeff Mallette. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules, and I expect you both to follow those rules. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Any questions, gentlemen? All right, if you're going to touch, touch them now. It's good. Title on the line, amateur light heavyweight division. The state of Indiana for Roctagon MMA. Camouflage trunks, black trim for Trey Ross and Robert Duke in the white trunks. Jeff Millette, third man in the cage. I am Ryan Cavanaugh, joined by Will Burge. It's Roctagon MMA, light heavyweights. Both guys stand and take the middle of the cage. And look at Duke already loading up on that right. And uh, somebody's taking home some hardware. Don't blink, because this thing could end in an instant, as you saw. Duke trying to get inside, trying to get the takedown. Ross trying to fight him off. Definitely wants to keep this more of a stand-up match, but already Duke imposing his will, using his weight, pushing Ross against the cage. And once he gets to this position, if he's able to grab one of those legs, you're almost as good as on your back. Robert Duke is a big 205 pounder. Yeah, to say the least. I think he walks around uh, much heavier than that, and that is a it's slam. a big time slam, and Trey Ross Head bounced off the canvas. It looked it, like he might have been out of it for a second. It looked like he was out. That was a huge slam. We're going to get a replay of that after round one or at the end of the fight, whichever happens first. And who knows with this one, but that is a hey, kudos, first of all, to Robert Duke for the slam, but also kudos to Trey Ross for staying alive here. And now you see Duke winning by submission all his other victories, trying to do it again here. Yeah, Duke is going for uh, an Americana here. And very similar, he's got to have the hand in close to the body and then push it across the canvas. It's, you don't get it by forcing the hand back if it's up in the air. And, and that's where he was actually hurt by that reach advantage as well. It looked like a little kid reaching up onto the, the, the shelf to grab cookies. He couldn't quite reach all the way out to the wrist on that one. He was so far away. That's the arm length that Trey Ross has. And that's just another advantage. It doesn't always just work in the stand-up. It also works sometimes. Sometimes you're disadvantage as well when you're down on the mat. Well, right now, the advantage is to Robert Duke as he moves into mount. This is advanced amateurs, which means punches to the head are allowed. In the state of Indiana, you have to have four fights under your belt to qualify for advance. And right now, Robert Duke, as we I mentioned, he is a big 205 pounder, really controlling the action. And Trey Ross, Needs to get something going here. He's just trying to prevent Duke from landing punches to the face, just holding on for dear life. And Duke is, uh, you know, for such a big guy, very, very agile, moving around, getting around those bodies and doing some damage now from the top. And really none of those doing too much, but they're all scoring points, and they're annoying the hell out of Trey Ross. So it, it, when you get annoyed, you're not thinking straight, and you might slip into a position that Duke wants to put you in, and now, now those are causing damage. Those are some big right and left hands he's eating there. That Duke is landing some punishment. And that one got through. This one's over. This one is over. Robert Duke with the knockout. Ref steps in, and we have a new light heavyweight amateur champion here in Roctagon. Very impressive. Very impressive. Robert Duke not only did it, Ate, some, ate a little bit of damage in the first exchange in the stand-up, got it to where he wanted against the cage, dumped Ross down onto the mat, and then here you go. This is the flurry, and this is where they start doing damage. First they were just annoying him with that right hand. There's a right hammer fist, and this is where they start to get through. Once he gets that left hand free too, it's all over, and then he starts connecting up underneath with the left hand, and that was all she wrote. Referee Jeff Millot had to stop him. And they're going to award that hardware over to Robert Duke. And there it is again, another angle. Just some hammer fists. And then once he gets that left hand out, boom, right there, up underneath the hand. And that was all she wrote in this one. Ross just covers up and hopes that the pain stops. It finally does. And it ends with Robert Duke. He's going to put that hardware around his waist up there. Very, very happy moment for him and his camp. That's Five wins for Robert Duke, four of them in the first round. 
all of them stoppages. Robert Duke knows how to finish. As you see, James Jetta in the cage, Lorenzo Gentili, Joe the Champ Gentili, boxing legend putting the belt on the Robert Duke. And it looks like it belongs there, Will. It certainly does. We're gonna see a whole lot of Duke in the future. That's a big, powerful man who's got a lot of skills down on the mat as well. Dangerous, dangerous foe for anybody who's gonna come across him. But Jake Digman is making his way into the cage. And let's make it official for Robert Duke. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jeff Millette calls a stop to the action at 2 minutes and 47 seconds of the first round. Declaring your winner by referee stop at 2 strikes and GKO and new Rocktagon Indiana State Amateur Light Heavyweight Champion, Rock